At schools across Alberta, optimism has crashed headlong into the reality of restarting education during a pandemic. After the first week of school, more than two dozen people have tested positive for COVID-19. Of those, 11 people from 11 schools were diagnosed while infectious to others. When, there's, when you find out that there's a case, it, it shocks us and it makes, it makes us want to be more, take more safety measures for the future. I'm a bit worried. Like, I think it was handled pretty well, but I'm just a bit scared. I don't want to, like, get the virus or anything. Their principal went further on social media, saying she's exhausted, furious, and anxious, among other things. She pointed the finger of blame at the premier for a lack of government support. This is your fault, Jason, she wrote, before inviting him and the education minister to spend a day at her school. Experts say the concerns should be tempered. So far, all of the cases in schools have come from outside. And so one should not assume that because there was an infected, possibly uh, able to transmit person in the classroom, that there necessarily has been spread within the classroom. She also notes that COVID-19 is only transmitted between 10 and 15 percent of the time in the home. And classes with a confirmed active infectious case have been quarantined. But Alberta is experiencing its highest COVID caseload since May. And stemming the spread in schools may depend on reversing that. We know that in places where community transmission is rising, uh, that we will see cases coming into schools. And our job is to prevent that from spreading in the school. It's too early to know if current COVID measures in schools are enough. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.